All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island, where I'm stuck with you guys, and we are so excited today because we have two products that I want to talk. Well, the first one is not really a product; it's something that we, you know, we spoke about in the past. You guys know the truck. I've been waiting that for a long time, so I have it now, and we're gonna actually be doing some camping with that. Now, shout out to Icico for sending me out this super amazing product. You guys know I do not take any form of product that I don't think I'm gonna be able to use. And what I like about this, this is a fridge that is made for camping it fits so perfectly into this truck they have so many features for example the tilt feature you guys know with the fridge you don't want to tilt it or whatever i believe this is rated at 30 degrees i'll drop the full information in on the screen somewhere but this has been pretty amazing what i love about it is that it has a couple modes for example the eco mode and the max mode before i pop this into the truck what i did was I had it powered up in the house, got it down to temperature that I wanted, which was negative seven degrees Celsius. And it took about 30 minutes for it to get to that. And then once it's in the truck, now I can keep it on the eco mode. What the eco mode does, it uses, I think about half the power rating just to keep the fridge going cool. So I love that. Also, what I'm gonna be testing today on this product is I wanna see how much power is gonna be using from this power bank. I believe with this power bank, it should run it in the eco mode for about nine hours which is far than enough for me personally and of course you can add a solar panel to your power bank to give yourself extended power or have more solar power or just run it from the truck what i love about that is that this thing can use a 12 volt power source which is what you have standardly in your car and your truck or whatever to keep this thing powered so in today's video we're going to be testing all that to see how well it can keep our products and items in there cool because you guys know i do a lot of outdoor cooking and i'm in the bushes and Yo, I've always wanted to do stuff like ice cream, like an ice cream dish. I could not do it because I never had a fridge. So we're going to be testing that. However, this product is so good. I'm a lot more excited to touch on some of Icicle's product line, which is there's this grill that they sent me. You guys have seen me use several grill contraptions and like it or not, let me tell you, I think that this one is the best grill I've ever, ever worked with. Yo, it is yo you guys will see that in the video it's gonna be super amazing um disclaimer of course they did send these products out to me but because i'm in jamaica i had to ship them myself so in essence if you're a jamaican you know i had to pay for the purchase of the product again through the clearance process so you know if i tell you that something is good know that i paid for it so it's not gonna be that type of review where you know i'm just telling you stuff because someone gave me something free all right anyway let's head on the road we're oh yo another cool thing we're gonna be linking up with the subscriber today you guys always say yo can i come on the trips someone's gonna be doing that today all right What's up? So we're here with Teosha, is it me? And her Ricardo. Ricardo, is it me? So we're there. So um, we're about to head in and stuff. I just took our stuff out of the um, car a while ago. Yeah, so it's gonna be like a, a 500 Jamaican dollar entry um, per person, and then we're gonna head in and do some cooking. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So we are in a very peculiar spot right now. Everybody's here trying to find their way down to the falls. Um, the falls right now is very busy, so we don't want to be there. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys like how cool this item is. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's really, really, really cool. 
we have a whole grill in here. This is what I'm gonna be cooking on today. This is from also from Icicle. I will go do a quick setup on it and show you what this turns into. Uh, yo, this is amazing. We'll be cooking on a rock surrounded by the river. It's gonna be awesome. So the first time I opened this up, I didn't even, I don't even think it came with instructions because you don't even need instructions. So once it comes out of the bag, it's like that. Then you just pop the center pieces in. And already it starts creating a structure. Bam. And then this is also floppy, but once you do that, it kind of locks into place. Drop that there. Center piece, I think it's this way. Nah. Definitely this way. When you look at it, it makes sense. And then the top is on. What I like about this design is that usually I always have an issue with like airflow. This is where all the hot poles are going to. And like the body prevents like, you know, any sinking into the ground or sand or wherever you are. So you get really good airflow. I've never used it before. So I'm just talking about the concept that I know of starting a fire and cooking outdoors. So yeah, for these things, it comes with four of them. These are like handles. You can just pop them right here, bend them in a bit. Say you want to move your fire, you can lift it about. And that's also important because a lot of the times, you know, if the rain is falling, I need to move my stove quick. If it's just rocks and sticks, it's hard, but with this, bam. I can take it where I need to. And yeah. Look at where we are, guys. We are out in the middle of nowhere on a rock and we're going to be using this grill. Wi-Fi for far line, just being out here. Nature. Eh? Yeah. 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 All right, so we're gonna let them do what they're doing and we're gonna do what we do, which is cool. All right, so here we have a mixture of an 80-20 beef as well as chicken mince. And this whole idea came about the wire straws video that I did where we had this really expensive burger. So we're gonna try to create a very expensive tasting burger with, I would say cheaper ingredients, but you know, find our ways around it to make it really good. The 80-20 however is not that cheap because it's a really nice quality um, bit of beef. So what we're gonna do right now is just to roll it up. Just to give you a quick FYI, in this we have, I think it's two tablespoons of, no, two teaspoons of jerk marinade inside of that and about a teaspoon of the jerk dry powder. So what we're trying to go after is a jerk burger here. So we're just gonna roll it up, have them nice and thick, and hopefully we can get some nice juicy burgers. So quick for FYI, this beef is not salted, it's not seasoned, only herb seasoning. Hopefully I remember to sprinkle salt and pepper on it while we're cooking. Somebody remind me. So, I try to keep it nice and thick. Quick FYI, you know sometimes the beef will kind of curl a bit, so we're trying to make these bigger than the buns. So this already is bigger than the bun. So hopefully it matches back up. Drop a little bit of oil. So where I'm 
cooking it a little bit uneven. Hence why I have so much oil. So I'll just keep chipping it around to do that. Add in the salt and black pepper on top. Hungry <laughs> mother. I know jumping around.
looks yummy. Teosha, it, we're not going to tell them where we're going to Teosha and Rica, Ricardo are forward here. Yeah? Yeah. So, Teosha and Ricardo, we're going to make a trip together. It was a great vibe hanging with you. Again, don't tell life on the burger, every gun. It tastes good. It, it tastes good. You like your hotel? Like? No, like. oh, <laughs> you're free, it's a different vibe. Oh, oh I like that. You eat your burger? No? You eat your burger? Me, I'm free. How was it going? No, I'm on Yo. With the jerk sauce. I ain't even getting no bacon in my ears. Yeah, and it tastes so good. Yeah. No, right now. I know me have one left in the bag, you Which vanilla one? I'm my one. Alright, guys, I am hot and sweaty. Oh, I forgot. We have the, the power bank that was running the fridge in there. It's on 43%, so that's amazing. Um, let's let's open the fridge and see how cool it be. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's still cold. It's still cold. Yo, shout out to the ice cold. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 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 right
Again, shout out to Ice Co for this amazing fridge and the grill. The grill worked really good. I think they're, they're specifically designed it for like shish kebabbing and stuff like that, but for cooking up the food, give it a nice slow cook. We're gonna tell Tiosha and Ricardo goodbye. Catch you guys later and we'll see you Bye, where guys. we are gonna see you guys. So look out for that vlog and I'll tell you guys how cold the beers get in this. Maybe about a 25 minute drive. So we'll see. If it frosts up and we take it out, it's a good fridge. All right, so we are back home. <laughs> For the moment of truth. Yeah, we were driving for about 10-15 uh, minutes and they're pretty chilled. Alright, pretty good. Alright, all in all, let me just say as far as when it comes down to this product, I think it's pretty good, but I'm going to do a lot more testing on it. You guys are going to definitely see this a lot more in the videos because I'm going to be using this all our own it's coming with us on our trip to where we're going so you guys are going to see that and shout out to tio and ricardo for jumping in on the trip you guys were amazing today and we are going to be happy to have you guys on the trip as well so anyway we're going to have a couple beers from our fridge everybody's three things love nature and adaptation and always remember the link <laughs>